Hi guys, I'm Parika and welcome to Your Knowledge Buddy. Today I'll cover top 10 highest paying part-time jobs for students in the UK. And at the end of this video, I'll provide you some bonus tips. So please make sure to watch the video till the end. To work in the UK, you need a national insurance number, which is a MI number and your ID proof. So make sure you have this in place before you start applying for jobs. So now let's get started with today's video. So number 10 on my list is hospitality industry jobs like bartender, catering staff, waiter or waitress, kitchen assistant or cook. The average salary for such jobs is minimum 8.0 per hour in the UK. You don't need to have a huge experience for such jobs as you'll be given training when you join the hospitality industry. There are plenty of jobs available in this field as the UK market is open and all restaurants, bars, fast food joints are running full time. Number nine, retail store jobs. Average hourly pay is 8.15 and night shift are being paid more than this. To work in the retail store, you don't need any experience and hence anybody can take this job. You can either opt to work in your local convenience shops like Cost Cutter, Nisa Local, Coop, Blondes, or work with big brands like Asda, Sainsbury's, Tesco, Lidl, and Morrison. Getting a job in your local convenience shops will be easier as there will be less competition as compared to working for a big supermarket where you'll be facing huge competition. I'll suggest this type of jobs as a starter because this kind of jobs are very easy to find and you'll save a lot of travel time and travel costs as well. Number eight, university jobs or on-campus jobs. Average hourly pay is 8.35. One of the most convenient jobs students can do is take university jobs because of their relatively high pay and on-campus location. A few examples of such jobs are librarian, dorm, receptionist, security, monitor, campus tour, uh, campus tour guide, research assistant, research study, participant, resident advisor in the dorms or cafeteria worker. So guys, make sure you check out your campus jobs before even struggling to find something outside. Number seven, customer service advisor. Average hourly pay is 8.45. Customer service advisor role is about helping customers understand the product you are selling and any questions related to that product. So you need to have the ability to upscale and cross sell to the customers to bring more business. Also for this type of role, your spoken and written communication should be good. Also, you would be asked either to work in their store where you will provide support face to face or via phone or via email. But whatever medium you're working with, you'll likely be helping customers with their queries. So having good people skill is a big help. So you can look at Carphone Warehouse, Virgin Media, 3, Vodafone as they hire a lot of students for part time jobs. Number six, food delivery driver. Average hourly pay is £8.5. A food delivery driver can be a bike delivery driver or a car delivery driver. So first I'm talking about bike delivery. In the UK, bicycles are referred to as bikes. So you can ride a bike without any license and take this type of part-time jobs. Also, you can get a second-hand bike from Facebook Marketplace, which you can get between £20 to £40. With this job, you can earn a lot of tips from your customer. And if you have a car or any other vehicle, you can offer other delivery jobs as well. And the pay is really good. So try companies like Uber Eats and Deliveroo who hire lots of part-time students. Number five, warehouse operator. Average hourly pay is 8.61 pounds. This job involves a whole range of responsibilities, but most commonly, you'll be picking and packing stock for delivery, keeping track of stock levels and loading goods onto vehicles. Also, irrespective of you are a male or a female, you both can work in the warehouse. Amazon is the biggest recruiter in the UK for warehouse jobs and there are plenty of more warehouse jobs available in the UK. Today morning, I saw more than 200 jobs available on Reed itself. By the way, Amazon is paying £10 per hour for daytime shifts and 11.71 per hour for nighttime shifts. Now, number four, labor jobs. The average hourly pay is £9. The term liberal covers various sectors. You could be working in construction, trimming hedges, or working in the garden, washing windows, and many more things like this. Again, if you're not keen on working in an office 
and prefer to be on your feet all the day. This is a great way of finding work outdoors. And in case you haven't worked it out, these jobs involve a lot of manual work. So be prepared to have a good exercise. Number three, administrator. Average hourly pay is 9.5 pounds. A role as an administrator is great for those seeking experience in an office environment. Tasks in admin roles vary. So you could be doing anything from managing diaries, taking phone calls, greeting people, or sending emails. You will also be able to add organization, communication, and potentially office admin software to the list of skills on your CV. And there are always lots of different administrator roles available across different industries. So you'll likely have your pick of litter. Number two, security jobs. Our average hourly pay is 11.99 to 15 pounds. Not too many students are aware, but you can work as a security guard as a part-time job, but you would need SIA security guarding license or a door supervisor license. So you can work in a restaurants, private member clubs, hotels, nightclubs, and retail. To apply for the security guard license, the SIA requires you to complete formal training and pass the assessments. On the final day of the course, there will be three multiple choice exams, one for each unit, which will test your knowledge of the content taught during the course. You can apply for your license from the UK Home Office site, and also I will provide links for trainings you need to complete, and also through this link, you can check the training provider. Now, number one, skill jobs. The average hourly pay is from 12 to 15 pounds. There's so many skill jobs available, and if you are good at jobs like blogging, article writing, social media marketing, data entry jobs, spreadsheet work, video editor, UX designer, proofreader, programming, and many more. You should find part-time jobs for this and the pay is really good and all the companies are hiring students. Now it's time for some bonus tips and recommendations. Number one, learn about digital marketing. It's quite easy and Google is providing the course for free, which you can complete in less than 24 hours. I've also made a video on this and I will link it in the description. It'll be easy for you to get social media intern jobs if you complete this course as you will have a basic understanding of how the whole social media works. Number two, learn basic computer skills like MS Office to get admin jobs. Number three, learn telephone etiquettes to get call center jobs. Number four, before traveling to UK if possible, try to get some part-time jobs in India and gain some experience in KFC, McDonald's, Domino's or even any retail store as you can add this experience on your CV and will provide an upper edge as compared to the other job applicant. Number five, bring two black t-shirts and jeans which will be accepted as a dress code in most of the places. If you're already in the UK, you can buy from Primark as it's the cheapest retail out there. It's India's big bazaar. Number six, create a professional email ID with your name to show your seriousness about the job. Number seven, there are plenty of Facebook groups. Join these groups and ask for help and ask your questions related to the job or anything you're worried about. In the UK, it's easy to land jobs due to references. Few Facebook groups are Indians in London, Student in the UK, IT jobs in the UK, to name a few. Number eight, improve your spoken and written English by watching English movies or news channel or even reading newspaper or novels. And I have created a UK CV template and cover letter, both for freshers and experienced students, which you can download from my YouTube community tab. So this brings me to the end of this video. If you found this video useful, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as it does motivate me to make more educational videos like this. Thanks for watching till the end and I'll see you soon with another video. Till then, keep learning.